This is The Sales Advantage. Welcome to New Business Generation. My name is Marshall Northcott. I am a seasoned consultative sales professional and corporate trainer. This e-learning module is designed to provide you with guidance and direction in the area of new business generation. You are encouraged to take notes in your course workbook during the training module. The narrated portion of the module is broken into 10 separate sections known as learning paths, which total 90 recorded minutes. You may pause the program or take a break at any time during the learning pass, and the learning management software will keep track of your progress. In addition, there are four mini timed quizzes to evaluate your understanding of each section of the e-learning module and a final exam. Use the graded quizzes to measure your progress throughout the module in preparation for the final exam. Each quiz and exam question have a 90 second time limit and the quizzes and exam also have a time limit. You cannot pause the quizzes or exam once you begin. This module is designed to expand your knowledge of lead, new business generation, and new customer development. We will review the differences in thinking and action between order takers versus sales professionals, list the key activities, common challenges encountered, suggestions for how to stay motivated, and the importance of setting reasonable prospecting expectations. The long-term success of any business is dependent upon the business's ability to continually cultivate new business opportunities. The peaks and valleys experienced by most businesses and sales professionals are directly attributed to inconsistent activity. We will compare easy versus challenging opportunities and how to recognize a prospect who is in the looking zone. Learn ideas for successful lead and new business generation and how to identify points of entry into a new account. Discover the importance of pinpointing and defining your target market and what sources you can leverage for generating sales leads. We will cover methods for opening the prospecting sales call, questioning strategies, suggestions for qualifying buyers, uncovering information, how to identify your unique values, and create value-based positioning questions. Learn what a prospect management system is, how to manage your prospect list more effectively, the power of a business forecast, and how to plan your prospecting activities for success. As part of our learning objectives in this e-learning module, we will discover tips, techniques, and ideas to help you be aware of the pitfalls that many sales professionals face while maintaining focus on uncovering business opportunities and be better armed to deal with personal feelings and emotions regarding prospecting. Identify the responsibility of a sales professional when prospecting and know what qualities will help you stay motivated by gaining advantage from the information presented. Have a plan and the necessary tools for achieving a high degree of success on prospecting calls. Develop a strategy for asking better value-based questions and gathering quality information regarding the client and any pertinent facts associated with them. The New Business Generation e-learning course focuses on the first steps in the sales cycle. How would you define, describe, or explain what new customer development or prospecting is? The topic of new customer development may bring various thoughts to mind and you may determine that it includes and requires any activities that focus on the creation of new business or business leads that would fall under the umbrella of prospecting, exploring the existing client base to identify untapped potential business, front-end qualifying techniques to determine if the business is worthy of pursuing, how you expand your account list to generate greater incomes, searching for new opportunities and research to qualify suspects as prospects, Awareness of what is going on in your territory. Accountability. It's one of your responsibilities. Time allocation for everything previously mentioned and something you must schedule time for weekly. 
learning to look beyond the obvious to uncover or create business opportunities. Completing a needs assessment to uncover information regarding decision making, product usage, and competitive activity. Understanding the problems, stresses, concerns, challenges, or issues that your product or service will solve for a potential client. Defining your geographic territory, vertical, or channel market. Understanding the travel distances between cities, towns, and remote areas. Having a plan to effectively prospect your target market. Knowledge about the accounts that you are responsible for and the potential each account represents to your company. Identifying competitive accounts and revenue or volume potential. Physical, door-to-door, -door, walking or by car, canvassing for potential business, and or telemarketing for potential business. New business generation takes effort. However, it doesn't have to be complicated. Don Hudson boiled it down as follows. At the risk of oversimplification, in the profession of selling, our success is determined by how many people we talk to and how good we are when we do. Why is new customer development, prospecting, necessary? Is it part of the roles and responsibilities of your sales position? The response to this question will vary from one industry to another. For those who sell repeatedly to the same customer base, once accounts are established, more time can be required to service those clients. In other instances, the business may require a constant cultivating of new business opportunities. The response will even vary from one individual to another based on how many years of experience they have and the strength of the customer base that they have developed. New customer development prospecting are necessary for revenue and business growth to meet and exceed sales targets, to secure market share and to be or remain competitive, remain current in the market and know what is happening, increase sales income, replace lost business, proactively seek out new business opportunities, awareness of trends and what is happening in your sales territory. In terms of the percentage of working hours, how much time should be devoted to new customer development? Can you experience success in the industry if you avoid prospecting? It is definitely a critical role and responsibility for most sales positions. This concludes step number one of the learning path. Please click on the green next button with the white arrow in order to advance when you are ready to proceed.